Hey pal, did you get my birthday gift? My birthday isn't for another two months, but yeah, I got it. Is it a French press? It's like a French press, but it's better. It's an AeroPress. AeroPress is the only press that uses a patented three-in-one brew technology that combines the best of several brew methods into one portable device for a completely unique and delicious flavor profile. Smooth, rich, and full-bodied, without the bitterness and grit found in other presses. And as a bonus, AeroPress can brew thousands of recipes. This is awesome. I don't have to wait in line for overpriced coffee anymore. AeroPress travels better than others, too. It's compact and incredibly durable, so no more awful hotel coffee. Looks pretty easy to use. It brews and cleans in less than two minutes. Just add medium-fine coffee grounds, pour in hot water, stir for five seconds, brew for 30 seconds, then press into your favorite mug and enjoy. It's no wonder they're the best reviewed coffee press on the planet with over 55,000 five-star reviews. Thoughtful, proven, and under 50 bucks. It's the perfect gift just in time for Christmas. I thought you said this was for my birthday. AeroPress is shockingly affordable, less than 50 bucks, and we've got an incredible offer for our audience. Visit AeroPress.com slash manshorts. That's A-E-R-O-P-R-E-S-S dot com slash manshorts to save up to 20% today. That's AeroPress.com slash manshorts to save up to 20%. It's time to ditch the drive through and say yes to better mornings fueled by better coffee. AeroPress ships to the USA and over 60 countries around the world, and we thank AeroPress for sponsoring our show. Man Shorts. It's a Saturday afternoon in 1985. Your story begins at the entrance to the Gnarly Woods Mall. Welcome to the world of Generation X. Is there really that much of a difference between Gen X and Millennials? Only according to Gen Xers. Why are we at the mall? The owner has hired you to investigate a series of strange disappearances. You should have a summary in the email I sent you. Okay, so apparently several mall employees have gone missing recently, but the police have like zero leads. Yeah, and apparently last week some couple said their kid went to the mall and never came home. Weird. Gets weirder. He says some of the other employees are trying to curtail the investigation. Why would they do that? It's a mystery. What do you want to do? I'd like to vote for splitting the party in an attempt to save time. Good for you. There's a phone number for this owner guy. I'd like to try and give him a call. You'll have to find a payphone first. Speaking of, everyone give me perception checks. 11. 19. 8. You enter in through the food court? on the other side of which is a large stage for live performances. Beyond that is an arcade, a glamour shots, and a radio shack. Are there any security guards around? It does look like there's one hovering around the stage area. It looks like one of the missing mall employees worked for Radio Shack, so I can start there if you want to hit up the arcade. Works for me. I need to get changed for a payphone anyway. The two of you continue walking as Sarah stops to speak to the security guard, who is a portly middle-aged man with a graying mustache. Excuse me, I'm looking into some missing employees. Do you know anything about that? The man turns and sighs. <sighs> I know I'm getting real tired of this nonsense. Did Huey put you up to this? Who's Huey? Huey Matterhorn, the guy who owns this place. He was down here last week screaming about some girl named Glenda from Gadzooks. What about her? There is no Glenda at Gadzooks. What do you mean? I mean, I know everybody that works at Gadzooks and there's no Glenda at Gadzooks, okay? Just like there's no Jackie at Radio Shack and there's no such thing as KB Toys. Okay, take a chill pill, dude. He collects himself and apologizes. I'm sorry, ma'am. I just take my job very seriously. All right, if anybody around here went missing, I'd be the first to know. I got a 17 on Insight. He's telling the truth. Now, if you don't mind, miss, I'd like to get back to securing the mall. Waylon, you enter the radical pterodactyl. It's crawling with teens, tweens, and arcade machines. I just want to get some quarters and call Mr. Matterhorn. You find a change machine and get quarters. Give me a perception check to find a phone. 15. The one in the arcade seems to be broken, but there is one across the way in front of the Orange Julius. I'm gonna call the number. On the third ring, someone picks up. A voice comes through. Hello? Hello, Mr. Matterhorn. Hello? Is anyone there? Mr. Matterhorn? Uh, this is uh, Waylon Brandel. Hello? C can you hear me? Mr. Matterhorn, my name is Waylon There's a high-pitched whine on the phone, like some sort of an electrical interference. Take three sonic damage. Oh! Oh. Lance, when you enter Radio Shack, a man with a red shirt steps over and says, Hello, sir. My name's Todd. Is there anything I can help you find today? I'm looking into the disappearance of Jackie. I believe she was an employee here. When you say this, the young man looks confused. Are you sure you're looking for Radio Shack? He points to the logo on his shirt. Yeah. According to this, she's worked here since 83? Wow. The man scoffs. <laughs> well, sorry, sir, but that's impossible. I've been the store manager here since we opened in 79, and there's never been a Jack. 
Oh. Did you speak to Mr. Matterhorn? I'm not sure that it matters, but yes. It does matter. Sorry to say it, but that guy's lost his marbles. Huh. Well, do you mind if I look around anyway? Knock yourself out. Give me an investigation check. 18. As you pass the register area, you notice a little black handbag on the counter. Hey, Todd. Whose bag is that? When you say this, Todd looks over and seems as genuinely confused as you are. Well, now that's strange. I've never seen this thing before. Well, I can turn it into the security office. I have a feeling my friend Sarah's going there next. Is that true, Sarah? Eventually. For now, I want to find a directory. I think I know what's going on. You find the directory on the other side of the stage next to Foot Locker. Which store are you looking for? KB Toys. Give me a search check with this advantage. 24 and 7. There is no KB Toys. Why did I have to roll with disadvantage? Because there is no KB Toys. At least from what you can see. Wailing back on the phone, the shrill sound finally stops, and the man says, Sorry about that. I had to put my hearing aids in. Now, who is this? Yes, Mr. Matterhorn. My name is uh, Waylon Brandelberger. I'm one of the people you hired. Ah, yes, the disappearances. Did you find anything out? Yes, sir, we're, we're working on that. Um, but I, I had a quick question. You said some of your employees were trying to stop you. Oh, indeed. The entire staff has gone mad. They claim I'm making these people up. Did you know that Glinda from Gadzooks is my grandson's girlfriend? And what do the police say? They always say they'll look into it, but they never do. I think they think I'm crazy, too. Anyway, that's call waiting. I've got to go, but call me when you know more. <sighs> All right. I need to find Lance and Sarah. Lance, as you exit the radio shack, you see Sarah standing over at the directory and Waylon walking over to her from the Orange Julius. Hey, guys, I am starting to get a bad feeling about this. Yeah, well, I'm starting to get the feeling the old rich guy is a little crazy. He's not crazy. It's a false Hydra. <gasps> Wait, what's a false Hydra? Oh, that makes sense. It's not just any false Hydra. It seems like this one can make entire companies disappear. Could somebody please tell me what a false Hydra is? It's a monster that eats people and makes anyone who saw it forget it existed. It sings a song that causes anyone who hears it to forget it exists. That's why Huey remembers he's deaf. That's why Todd doesn't remember who Jackie is. Lance, give me a deck save. 10? Take 12 bludgeoning damage as the tile beneath you rumbles and explodes, sending you flying backwards through an ad for a Casio keyboard. Ah, yikes. I think I found the fake Hydra. False Hydra. Whatever. Everyone roll initiative. Four. 20. 17. Okay, so the Hydra goes first. It's going to spend its turn bursting through the floor and going after Sarah with a multi-attack, which both hit. Whoa, what? Take 17 damage, and it's your turn. Lance, I'm going to keep this thing's attention. On your turn, I'm going to need you to go into Radio Shack, get the biggest sound system you can find, and turn it on full blast. Can do. Hold on. If, if this thing kills us, do we just get forgotten? If it helps, Mr. Matterhorn would remember you. But yes, it does appear that being overlooked is the defining characteristic of this generation. I didn't realize Gen X was so tough. We just spent like the entire time trying to communicate with people who didn't take anything we said seriously. Or if they did, they acted like we were crazy. It's like screaming into a void. And for what? This Hydra thing is just going to erase everything anyway. I must say, drawing such an apathetic conclusion is very Gen X of you. <sighs> Do you guys even feel like fighting this thing anymore? Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I don't. Maybe we can fight another false Hydra for Christmas. See you next week. A series of strange disappearances. Hmm? I think it has to be vertical. It could be reading it like that. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Things and stuff. I turned up my volume so I would know when you got there, and now let me turn it back down. I definitely looked at it, but I feel like it, it worked with the acting. Good for you. That was sounded sarcastic, didn't it? I don't know how to be genuinely nice. <laughs> By the way, out there, make sure that you have the bell turned on. Turn on notifications for the channel. If you don't, YouTube won't show you our content. Put the bell on. Several. I was going to say plenty, and that's probably not a technical term. Plenty of them. Oh my god. I looked, reading this, realized I might have to act like I'm making a phone call. Eventually. For now, I think I want to find it. No. Anxiety, all of a sudden. Like, I actually had to make a phone call. <laughs> I've sent... Nope. I, it's a summary. Works for me. I need to... She were... Uh, disappearance. That's what I missed. Did I say that right? Yeah. Maybe I should play Catan no, no. <laughs> every time. So I can go check that out if you want to hit up the arcade. Oop, wrong way around, right? 
No, I did say it right. Okay. Oh, hey, and Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year. Congratulations. It's a great game. 24 and 7. I don't know why I had both hands up. Maybe I should do that again. Mr. Matterhorn, this is uh, Waylon Bun <laughs> Bundleburger. I rolled 100. Whoa. We watched nine hours of Studio Ghibli movies yesterday. That was fun. That's where I got my cool Kodama shirt. I want to make a character named Whisker Lickens. Okay. He could be a, a tabaxi. Whisker Lickens, private eye. Yeah, well, I'm trying... Well, no, I, I thought it was Sack, and I said Shack, but it is Shack. It's the silence from Doctor Who. Like, that's the first thing I thought of. Like, oh, God, the grays and the suits. It sings a song that causes everyone to hear it. Everyone, anyone to... Ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum -ba I don't want a lot for Christmas. I actually haven't heard it at all. I should not have said that. Dee -boo -dee, building a ship, building a house. Or if they did, they acted like we were crazy. Blech. Everything's going crazy the moment I have to, like, focus on a big line. I didn't realize Gen X was so tough. We just spent the whole time trying to communicate. Hey, listen, if you want to see us stream Baldur's Gate and play as Flim Flam and Razzle Dazzle, tell us in the comments, because that's the thing we want to do. Get the biggest sound system you can find and turn it on full blast. Boom! D&D, &D, every day. D&D, &D, every day. Stat blocks, every day. Drop rocks, every day. D&D, &D, every day. Every day, they call me the DM. I bring the pain from AM to PM. I am the bane. Consider been changing the name of my BBEG to C to yo. They can't even see him. Two DPKs per DM. End up in a PC museum. If you don't follow my coliseum, I'm murking you all of my mausoleum. This is a murderous game. Imagination be putting to me, turn to the shame. It's the return of the flame, and it's still burning the same. Better be learning my name. It's that Y A H Z I C K that spells tongue. Low vibration, high strong. Looking at the top of the ladder from the bottom rung, unsung. D and D. Every day, 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 stat blocks. Every day, drop rocks. Every day, D and D. Every day, every day, D and D. Every day, D and D. Every day.